Welcome back to this new video of TaxPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect an actual domain that comes with GoDaddy and add them directly into your own framework a website. So uh, basically, there are a few prerequisites that we needed to have before continuing. The first one is to have a domain registered into GoDaddy. The second is to have a website into Framer, and the last one is to have access to the GoDaddy DNS settings. Let's go straight here into GoDaddy and create our account in order to continue. So once you have here the access to GoDaddy, you have my account signed in. I'm going to focus into these three borders, go for domains, and find a domain search for domain names, for example. Once you have typed the domain which you would like to purchase, Choose the option that says search domain. And once you have selected one that you loved the most, for example, this one, select to buy it. Once you have purchased this domain, it should be appearing under your profile. Choose the option that says my products. Into my products, what I need to do is to click into the domain I would like to use to add them directly into my uh, domain here, for example, into my website framework. So what I'm gonna go is to go for all my domains. Here is the domain I'm going to be using. Let's go a little bit back once again. And you want to make sure that you have access to the full domain so you can have the option that is managed. Now, if I click into the DNS section, into the left section that says DNS, we have this information of the DNS records. And here are all the DNS records that we can use to import them directly here into Framer. Now, let's get the Framer domain settings. In your Framer dashboard, we wanted to focus into the section that says settings into the left section here into the upper side, just below account. And here, what we need to do is to have the invitation, we have the members, we have the plans, permissions, funds, and details. Now, to continue, we need an active plan in order to add my own domain. Now we have personal and business plans. If you try it out, for example, with a personal plan, we can change it from yearly to monthly. And basically we have the home uh, 10 GB bandwidth and a custom domain. Once you have checked out here how it actually looks your website, uh, basically what I need to do is to make sure that this one has not been enabled into my uh, account. So when I have a plan a little bit active, if you clicked into this coin, you want to focus into the domains and here is the base domain. So if I get a connect an existing domain of my own, I choose this option and I what I need to do of course is to paste the actual URL code that we have here, which in this case here it is, and I copy and I paste it here. Now, it's going to be telling you of course that in order to continue we need to add some DNS information. In this case, of course, it just won't let me because what I need to do is to have an active uh, domain in order to continue. So to do this process, what I need to do, of course, is to go back here into DNS management, add the new record, and this is the information we needed to paste from Framer into the GoDaddy. So it's going to be asking you to enter, uh, for example, a, a add data and the TTL. So this info should be pasted from Framer directly here into DNS. The type, the name, the value, and the TTL. Once you finish with this information, you hit into the option that says save. Once here you have finished, what you need to do is to make sure this one appears here. If your DNS new record won't allow you, you want to make sure that you are not using exactly the same type. For example, usually almost every uh, website creators ask you for a C name typed. So you want to make sure that you don't have a C name type into your domain connection. In that case, here it is. So just select them, delete them, and add your new C name. Or you can just edit it here directly into GoDaddy. So I'm going to just deselect them, and there we go. Now, uh, we can verify now and publish into the Framer. After adding the records, we can go back directly here into Framer, hit into the option that says published, and hit into update. It might take a few minutes to update, but once it is verified, your domain here into the upper side should be linked like right away. Now, you can use a free version if you don't want to pay for an actual plan.
For that, just focus into the custom domain, and you have a domain that we can connect here. For example, in this case, it should be framer.website. So in my case, I think it actually works and it doesn't look that bad. If you wanted to do it, so basically, uh, this is exactly what I just did here before, and we didn't pay absolutely for anything. So just the common issues and fixes, for example, is that just needed to wait a few hours for DNS changes for truly propagate. The CNAME errors sometimes double check that they only have one CNAME records. And lastly, if the SSL is not working, you want to enable the HTTPS inside Framer for some security. And that is how we can actually add a new GoDaddy domain connected to Interframer. So if it helps, you can drop a like and subscribe for more web design tutorials. Make sure they have an active plan in order to add your custom domain or just focus into the site settings and focus into your domain so you can add your own free custom domain created with Framer.com. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully with all this information, we can all see you into a new video tax price.